We're recording now. Should we do like a little introduction as to who we are? Yeah, First yeah. of all, I'd like to introduce myself. <coughs> I am Simon Partridge, uh, and I do various things such as breathe, um, <laughs> drink um, uh, non-alcoholic drinks, give away alcoholic drinks. That sort of that sort of, that's the sort you of like machine giving, I am. Like giving people gifts. Then, well, I don't know. It's always always <coughs> it's oil me, for the. Giving me it's balm, isn't it? Eight. Easter, Easter, Easter bunnies I know, the last I know. Week. <laughs> I just thought they were suited. <laughs> so this is Simon Partridge, who is a normal interview e. Yes. And now you're being interviewed. How does it feel? Now, now I'm being put under the cross. Yes, so you're you're under the under the grill. So. You're, being, you're being under the eye. Yeah. So. So my name's Samuel Capel. I am the co-founder, co-director. Yeah, you know, oh, very yeah. nice. I yeah. say, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like a, a co-director. And my co-director is Christian oh, Ben Katsami. Ken. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> so, so, so what I would you like I to talk with um, Simon it, Partridge keep, about today? Keep it quite um, loose. It's just what. Well, what well, these words. yeah. Well, the it? heads. I don't know why. I'm really interested in heads because. I think people actually sh- show themselves by uh, <coughs> by what you can see. You know, like a hat. Mm-hmm. If you've got a hat, you can say it whatever you want with that hat, mm. and it, it it acts as a frame for the for the for the face and the mind. But you, when people, if people want, if you if you want to s- say something, you can say it by putting on a face, can't you? And your face yeah. Yeah, is, a, is is a, is an analog an analog reference to your whole life. Life, lifeline. A hat is more um, a statement, really, though, isn't it? Instead of yeah, because your face is faces are statements as well. Mm. Yes, but I think uh, you don't have to have a hat. Not many people yeah. wear. Hats but you have to have a face. Yes, very nice. You have, to have a face. That's right. You can't. Some some, some people some people people have sunglasses. That's right. They're yeah. hiding a part of themselves, really. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Where on the other hand, you can go incognito. Some people like to go out going incognito, don't they? They do. By wearing a like hat. Like Jonathan here, who has a hat. And a sun, sunglasses. Yeah. Jonathan, who said he was not going to speak on the yeah. way. Because <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't recognise that. That's yes, a good example. Yeah. 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 I do like wearing that. sunglasses. And none of, your pi- none of your pictures do have hats on. I hadn't thought of that, actually. That I think of our hair as a bit of a hat, really. You've got glasses in one of them, but that's not like a disguise or hiding anything. But they do actually define the face. If, you, if you're oh, drawing yes. something, I just I just discovered that if you just if you put if you don't put in the glasses, oh, wow. it's a totally different person. Really than with, it's when you wear something, you actually ameliorate yourself into that disguise. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing I get from your pictures are is almost like a um, still like a virtual still life. That's right. Yeah. Like yeah instead yeah. of being it's just in caught a, um, caught a moment, which is a flirtation with a moment. Like life drawing, it's a bit like. That's right. Yeah, mm. exactly. Catch a moment. moment. Like yeah. Drawing, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And you can intimate all the angles you want as well. But a bit of voyeurism as well. Yeah, yeah. it does a bit. Look, look at do. people's faces. Yeah. Yeah. If you've, once you've looked at those, yeah, and you, yeah. when you look at somebody again, you think, well, am I looking at a picture of a face, or am I am I looking at the the real thing. Soul or something. Maybe. Well, the soul, yes, yeah, that's right. Some evidence of soul. Do you want to capture anything in particular? Um, so I just... Say it's only one line. I talk about art as line. What I'm really doing is I'm just experimenting with line, that's all. Hmm. So all those pictures, I know you think they're finished production, but actually, all I'm doing is I'm trying to experiment with myself so I can learn how to draw faces. And... Each time I draw somebody, I learn something different about how the person is. So somebody might like it because it looks like them and captures an aspect. But actually, all I'm doing is I'm trying to see how the line works. It originated when I was working with pencil. And um, it was a book, I forgot the name of the person who wrote the book, but he said, he talked about trying to learn how to draw shadow mm. in this book. It's how to draw or something like that. And... It is very difficult because if you, if you, what he said, what you've got to do is start with your subject in a, in a light, so you can draw the shadows. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
So that's one way of doing it. But join light, light it's, dark. But it's it's not as easy as that. And or dark as light. That's right. And once you, lots of some you can get like a very good three D effect mm. by drawing in the so people can recognise where the light goes. But it's still not actually a, a really deep interpretation of how that shadow or line works for you at that moment in time. Mm, so it's a bit false, you mean? Kind of that. Mm, it's, 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 it's an approach at the truth. With, mm. with shadow, it helps to define shape without having to actually draw it. You, mean, you can just draw little bits of a shadow. I know, face. exactly. And You've got it, yeah. Christian. And that way it's you different, still it? construct a, a face out of shadow. Because what, so I'd, like space, what I'd like to do is... What I'd like to do is do is do a lot of... Um, very s- a lot of serious studies of faces. Mm. So I could actually so I could actually do something like Giotto or the medieval cabal or Leonardo da Vinci. That, that, that sort of like total... Purity of subject, whether where each each skin tone has got its own little 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 mess of paint onto it. Mm. Not just so, so the whole thing is actually uh, it's not representational, but it is in a way. It's like a a, a, a marrying to nature, a birth, a birth and a rebirth, rather than just um, just a, a dipping a dipping your Finger in a reflection. That's what I'd like to do, but I find I get tired actually. So, so those little ones are nice, and I, I quite like actually because what I do is I draw people as I know what people would like to be drawn as, mm. and I draw them in that mode. Can I ask you a question about Father Reason? Yeah. The eye that shut. What, uh, what was the idea behind that? Well, something I, I was going to mention what earlier. Yeah. Oh, Something yeah. I was going to no, mention no, 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 earlier. Actually. Yeah. I have actually. I've got this thing about two different. Look at all of them. See the two different sides. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. Can you? Uh, each of them. Each of them. Each side of each pet face has got a different aspect to it. Mm. It's got a dark aspect and a light aspect. And um, and you, and if you look actually, somebody else pointed this out to me. That somebody didn't have one eye, but one eye sees and the other doesn't. You have a look at them, and you see that one eye is actually seeing, and the other eye is closed in all of them. Yeah. Or you can't see you the see. eye. In so in Samuel's one, like, can you see his right eye is sort of looking out a little bit, but his left eye, no, he, you know, his right, yes, his left eye is actually in, in a pop, in a static mode. So it's as if he's resting that side of his brain. He tired now. So it's it's to do it's to do with the it's to do with the duality of man and the duality of nature, yeah. and the shadow. Maybe maybe the shadows suggested that to me. The, 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 the one side is dark and one side is light. So I'm very interested like in actually seeing. Sorry, a bit like the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Dark side of the moon. But I'm interested in seeing, but I, but my eyes. I for a long, long time. I don't know if anybody finds it relevant, but. For a long, long time, I, I actually started. I, I, I phased out my uh, my sight. I phased out my sight, and, and I'm bringing it back again. And because I've been blind for so long, the um, the the the, the colour has shown the rainbow has shown me many favours. Hmm. So, <coughs> so I can I can see things that maybe you know, like you see, like a very vivid picture. I can look at something and I can actually maybe say draw it in my mind or expand it or see where what it's trying to say to me. A bit, a bit like a bit like um, um, su- a, a, a super sensual awareness of the now. Do you, so do you understand? So those those pictures there, they're all super sensual. Okay. I think uh, so. They're, they're, I'm, I'm just saying that's just, that's just interesting I mean this is how it turned out with me but hmm. I find somehow I, I've been given this gift do you know Bowie? yeah the gift of gift of sound and vision that's from Bowie it is okay so I always think of that I think because you know, it is sound and vision they're both gifts from the God aren't they? God aren't they? Mm-hmm. so he says the gift of sound and vision so wow 
Isn't that massive? Hmm. And I get the same, I get exactly the same result with, with words. That's why I like poetry, because I, I, I see the supersensual aspect of words. Hmm. And when you say supersensual uh, of words, it's like they kind of drop an image in your, in your brain, is that? Well, that's one way of looking at it, Christian, but it's all sorts. They can do, you can do anything, really. See, um, I spent a long, long time learning at the feet of John Lennon. Do you, do you know mind games at all? Uh, is, no, then, I guess not. Yeah, well, that one phrase, mind games, it talks about ga- it's, it's, it's got in the, it's got in its remit, it's got games. So you're playing games, but you're also playing games with your mind. Mm-hmm. And mind games, so all these things one does, all these these rituals in life and patterns and that, they're all different games you play. Okay, and you yeah. can actually... And you can actually when I when I'm doing those pictures, I'm I'm playing games. It's all mind games. Do you understand? True. So it, that's sorry. I thought that uh, mind games was maybe an album by John Lennon. Yes, yes, that's oh, right. That's oh, what I was saying. Okay, all right, okay, good. That's what I was saying. I listened to it. I studied at the feet of John Lennon. Right. I think he said he's more famous than Jesus once, but <laughs> I don't think that's important. I think that what's important is that he would learnt to see and he shared the gift of he shared he shared his intuition with. With with us, with his with his audience, hmm. uh, interesting. I'm just saying, but I just, I played that again and again, trying to understand what, what what he meant by it. So now later on, I've got that as part part of my pocket handkerchief set or mind game. So I can just think. I do something. I think, yes, yes. Let's play this mind game. Hmm. Maths is a mind game. Literature is a mind game. Um, art is a mind game. Um, hmm. Cuisinery, cookery, that's a mind game. Would you say that mind Dressage, that's a mind game. It's like uh, playing mind games, it's like altering your uh, yeah, it can be. perception. Have you read that book called... Um, um, ta- it's by Carlos Castaneda, it's called Tales of Power. It's okay. one of them. And another is called... Is it called Alternate Worlds? Okay. I can't remember now. Um, it, it talk in it, Carlos Castaneda finds this Indian chap who's, who's really into like being at one with the spiritual world, and he talks di- differing perceptions. There's another work which is important for anybody who wishes to learn about these things, which is which is the Bird of Paradise and the Gates of Heaven and Hell by Huxley. August Huxley. August Huxley. August. That's right. <coughs> who I had some connections with. His, my tutor's married. My tutor had in his family one of the Huxleys. So that's interesting, oh. isn't it? He once he, he studied he studied black magic and he tried to he tried to take to, tried to some black magic and he ended up he was in All Souls at the time. He ended up burning a whole wing of the the college. <laughs> they won't they won't fuss. They just thought it was quite amazing that he burned it all down. I was going to ask you, do you, and this is kind of one of those. Slightly annoying question yeah. to artists, but out of all your pieces, do you have a favourite of one that that um, speaks to you on on a, on a different level? I did like else? that for other reason, but okay. I Sam, Samuel's nice because it reminds me of Samuel. But I think that one of my mother's beautiful actually. Can you see the glasses? We're talking about glasses. Oh yeah, I'm I'm very fond. I like the that one of Chelsea that turned out like like a 1920s sketch. Yeah. That one of that that one of Nick's nice, but the one of Maria mm-hmm. is very good. But it's 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 too too brilliant, it's too bright for me. I I really like the Maria one. Is this something about the stare? Oh, yeah, it's exactly. quite uneasy. It's, That's right. Yes, it looks yeah. like it's just staring into you. But what happens is because I did that I did that in a lighted conservatory. Right. So that accounts for and she put her head back. Can you see it? Uh, the light of that it's it's I actually drawn it how it is my mind so when I draw sometimes my my mind just draws what I see mm. so in some way, so because she's leaning back she's got a very narrow hairline yes but I think if you I think that's part of the magic of that particular picture because because if you look at it you suddenly realise she's got her head back. Yeah, I think I see that. So, so that's so interesting, isn't it? There's something about the pale green eyes that are just that's quite right. piercing. It's, right. quite, it's quite alarming. But that's why, you see, eyes are, uh, to carry on from what I was talking before, eyes 
Right? They talk about the mirror of the soul, but actually, there are actually you have your eyes to express yourself by, and all the different lines and cavities and uh, and lashes and eyebrows, they all actually frame mm-hmm. your eyes. They do. Nature has actually done it so that when you want to, you've got you your impact, your visual impact is through your face and through your eyes. I don't I. I, I used to find noses very difficult to draw. Funnily enough, I used to find it really difficult because they didn't look like noses; they just like splodgy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But now I've got to know them. I, I'm going to know the nose better. I can just paint in like a, a classic nose, and, and I can actually make it feel how it wants to feel about how I wanted to feel about that picture. Mm. Your pictures are quite. Um, oh, wouldn't necessarily say abstract, but. You know, they're in the moment kind of thing. Uh, could so you explain that, please? Well, you, you're not drawing them so they're so precisely their face, if you know what I mean. That's they're right, yeah, yes, that's right. Like, there's a little bit of they're expe- concept there that's or, right, yeah. or something, but you're, you know, you're taking only 30 seconds sometimes. Yeah, that's right, them. that's right. And you're so, obviously, when you say... Uh, but sometimes... The same, but when you look at those drawings, you're thinking... You're not thinking, oh, the, the eye is not perfect. You're That's looking right. at it from your perspective, I think, of you just doing it in the moment. Because you know you've only taken a short amount of time to do that. Yeah, I'm so, saying, so I'm trying I'm to think in what's. I was a bit of a loss, too. I was just thinking, could, well, you see, what's happening is I'm just I- intimating. So I'm, I'm actually drawing, so it's, it's, it's a line drawing. I'm trying to intimate how they do. And what happens is, because. You see, when a person's got just like one face, it's actually got a multiplicity of, of interpretations. So what I do is I just accentuate maybe the eyes or the nose to accentuate how that person is coming across. So if you if you draw very heavy eyebrows, it immediately makes them look quite yeah, cerebral. Or, or maybe angry, yes. Yeah, so mm. And another thing also, I've learned about mouths as well. I recently had to paint mouths. And you know the Mona Lisa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In it, Leonardo da Vinci is starting to learn how to draw mouths. In that painting? In that painting, or in his paintings of that time, of that era. If you have a look, her, her, uh, her mouth, it isn't that, it is, it's just very lightly painted in. Yeah. And I don't think you can see any teeth, but there's just like a subtle change, like slightly auburn, auburny green. And it gives the right impression of a lady thinking about the moment. Because the gre- greeny brown isn't, isn't too hard, but it, at the same time it is quite, like, firm. So you're in just that, like, that little bit of painting there, you get part of the character. And in these pictures, you're, you're, um, the character is coming across. What's Samuel Lucas? He calls them caricatures, and I think that's a very nice way of putting it. A little bit, yeah. But I think there's more to it than a caricature. Because mm. caricature, mm. you see it as a, it's like a satire. A satire, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't see satire in those. Satire, yes. I don't see more of a well, that's sincere approach to it. Very nice of you to say that. Satire, yeah, satire. They tend to like, there's a, there's a boris, Well, I have respect, I have respect for my pens as well. That. But there's, you know, you're just... Yeah, I understand. But one of the nice things that happened, and I think this might apply to anybody who's listening, is if you've got colour, all line, but specific, specific colour for the moment, you can actually make it say something within the remit of your drawing or painting. Do you understand? The colours, if you look at the colours, like I, 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 I don't work with oils because they're too expensive. And also, o- over the years, because I haven't touched them for years, I, I prefer acrylics. But if I've got some green, some brown, and some red acrylic, I, in my mind, my mind will dance, and I'll paint this, like, mouth of the lion, or a, this and that, and inter- totally, total intimation it is. Because one, one, I, I, <coughs> one piece of my history is, I was offered a scholarship to study at East Kent College. And I decided against it because I didn't want to alter my style. I thought it might breed out my style. 
mm. and coming back to it many many years later with these pictures I wish I'd taken advantage of that because I would have enjoyed learning the learning experience mm. so that's the, if the opportunity comes to get a scholarship in art don't turn it down mm. no, so I don't think they're anything about it are they? scholarships um, maybe maybe I'm just uh, I'm just saying if people like myself just general ordinary people like myself <coughs> can't afford to go to college then the government the government quite often will supply a means of finance hmm. well, it's difficult to um, do an art degree when you have to pay so much money yeah no, I know exactly exactly just, learn, exactly, exactly. just want to learn a skill exactly so my 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 into a career my 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 voice is dip it dip your finger into life mm. and books 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 books, books, books. Are great. books they're all out there mm. nobody reads them you think to yourself well like superior beings and all that well have you ever read anything by um ralph walker on philosophy i can't say how <laughs> he's the philosophy tutor at Magdalen. One of my friends, an interesting story, I'll just, just quit it. Uh, <coughs> my friend decided, he had, for his, es for his essay, he had a problem with this person, that what the professor had written a book on. So, um, he gathered up all his courage and knocked on his door. Come in. He came in and he said, and Professor Strawson said, um, hello, and what is it? He said, and so, Joan said, um, well, I was quite interested in... Um, in um, <coughs> in um, this philosophical question, so he said, he said, well, have you read my book on it? And he said, I think I, he, might, he might have said, I may have. And he said, well, go away and read it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that was a bit weird. What was the last bit you read? Um, fully, or in well, part. Either. I picked up a book on artificial intelligence. That's my big thing, artificial intelligence. But oh, what happens is you've got to be a bit, bit careful because it's all, there's all sorts of like different ins and outs. But actually, is there a bit conspiracy? Involved? It is a bit, yeah, yeah, it is a bit. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because they say one thing, and you have to have to actually agree to the tenet, to the holding. But actually, there's all sorts of inroads that you can make yourself. Uh, what is artificial intelligence? You, if a computer can tell you, can answer a, a, um, a mathematical problem, they say that's not intelligence, don't they? What, like a calculator? Like a calculator, yeah. that's artificial? Yeah, I think it's artificial intelligence. Because you see, because um, because, um, if, you, if you had a little child, if you had a little child and you said, what's 73 divided by 1,000.214? If the child said, well... Might be twelve. You think <laughs> the, he's not? He's not going to go. Not going to go down too badly. But if he but said it's eight hundred forty-three point two one seven four eight one nine, you'd be like most impressed, wouldn't you? You would. And then, yeah. Question: How they got that? But the word. Yeah, you see, like it's all magic. The word artificial. And like artificial. That, that was built. Still built by humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got it. You, you started yeah. on the right theme now. Actually, artificial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, unless robots and start then. making themselves. I know exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Robots can do that. Did you know that? Yeah. So, the so. one thing, the one thing robots can't do is actually reproduce. You can do anything else, but they can't reproduce. But they can. You can program them. them. You can program them to to go in. The one thing when we make all the robots is they've got to have a reset button. Yeah. <laughs> and they've got to know, not so know how to. Have. Control that, yeah. And everyone's got to ha have a pin on them. Do you mean you can never get a pin in time to like reset anything? You know, <laughs> yes, the, like, that's the, right. Yeah. The PlayStation. Got reset, it, yeah, it's a tiny little pin. Was that? I don't know. I don't. I don't that's know. right. If it didn't, if it really didn't work, you press the reset button. button you? Something. You just have to. It really doesn't work. You press it. Was to get a pin. Right. It was always being miles down. Have you ever tried that resetting an, an OS, an no. operating system? Yeah, you can do that. You lose all the programs. Oh no. Anyway. Yeah, computers are. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm re I'm really actually impressed by the computers they give me. They're really they're really with it. Got um, I think it's um, a Fujitsu. Oh, 
win Windows. Mm. Windows 10 it is. I've got, I've got an Apple Mac that's lasted 10 years. Well, it's good then, the that's good. Well, that's it's cool. Well. Never had any problems. Well, what OS is it? Oh, it's been upgraded ever since. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Every yeah. year. They send, they give us do you keep backup, do you? Yeah. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two backups. Because <laughs> I know people's that have gone down. Loads of people moan to me about that's that. That's the only bad thing about it. No marvellous. Do you actually do anything with your computers? Yeah, Photoshop. Yeah, same with me. I do Photoshop. That's because I do screen printing then it's... Yes, please. Have you ever, have you ever yeah, made a movie, things. have you? I've done a few movies, yeah. That, that, that's, that's a good... Handy, that's, yeah. that's, that's an arena I'm trying to on find my way into. If you want to do gaming, then there's, you need a Windows and people can build... I'm not interested in gaming for, for some I reason. I don't know why. No, no, I just... I used to play, when I was very young, I thought the ultimate was table tennis. Do you know you could play tennis? Really? On this, on a like really basic computer. You what, like, um... No, oh. what's it called? No, oh. Star Wars. No, not Star Wars. What's it called? Oh. Uh, alien, alien, Space alien Space Invaders. Space Invaders, yes. Yeah, Space Invaders is cool. I used to think that was the ultimate. You made tennis as well. You played computer recently. But, what, <laughs> but if you got hold of a computer, then hold on to it, I would. Yeah, that'd be, sorry, I'm not thinking terribly well at the moment, but that's, that's, that's another scenario, isn't it? But I think, but, but here, with are talking about pictures, I'd just like to reiterate the importance of literature. Mm. Definitely. Well, literature, you can read a, read a lot now online, can't you? You can. Mm-hmm. But I find, I find sometimes Freaking line is really good. Sometimes really line is really good, but so, so, internet is really good. Sometimes, the web I find facile. You can't. One of the, with my poetry corner for the radio, quite often when I'm researching a poet, they will actually they will not actually say the most. The closest they'll get to the poem or the poet is his biography and an explanation of what he's saying, but they don't actually talk about how he says it or what his way is. Do you understand what I'm saying? You you got to. So w- w- that's quite often, you, if you're interested in a poem or a poet, one of the ways of entering his world is through the, um, the um, not the blogs, the, the concepts between the, in the, um, the introductions to his, his book. Oh, okay. So they'll say, well, this, they'll actually talk, they'll start not, talking not about... Not poems. The, the context before. That's right. They, yeah. they talk about... I've got this. I've got this book on. No, um, not really. Yeah, not really been to poetry. I know. I'm just saying, but, but, but sometimes. To people, to like poets actually do a series of poems on it yeah. as a. S- carry as on. A, as a context, as a as a piece, all together they do a series or. Yes. Uh, pe- there, a that's another question. There's there all sorts of poetry ensembles. But I'm, I'm just saying, if you if you wanted no to bad. find out about it. A, po- a, a, a poet, read the introductions to his works. Or her works. Okay. Or her works. Cause, cause even, even, even if they're not very long, they'll probably put you on the right track, what, what you need to do. Quite, uh, quite often I find the... I read the main text and then I read the, um, the blurb at the bottom. Quite often it's quite, it's quite interesting because they're doing the main theme and they just say, well, we'll treat the reader to a little... A little Insight, and they have a little insight, delicately, delicately etched out at the bottom of the page. But one of the things I remember, my my friend, a Jesuit priest, he um he, he showed us the they had a library at school, and he showed us this book, and he said, look at this, and he said, look, there's one letter here, and it's been, on the press, it's been put the wrong way round, so it's, it looks like an H, it looks like a B, but actually it's a P. Or is it, that's, no, is it P? Yes, it looks like a P, but it's actually a D. Right. Okay. Because in yeah, the it's been upside down that's right, yeah. And he knew he knew that every book in that library, old old fashioned library. And so that was good. Yeah. Anyway, because the modern world, the modern world is much more enhanced to the nature of literature. Did you know, for example, you know, I read this somewhere. I don't know if it's true because you can't always. You think it's true, but apparently the 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 um, the um, 
the something Bible, what's it? Lands down, not lands down. The um so it was a, it, not the Kindle Bible. No, it's a monastery in 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 Ireland, Lindisfarne. And the Lindisfarne Bible was the only Bible available in Europe in the in the fourteen fifty can't be fourteen fifty hundred, twenty Lindisfarne. Yeah, eight hundred. Yeah, that right. so so that was the only in the, at that time the the only Bible in Europe was at Lindisfarne because the 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 the, um, the monks were just like copying it. Can can you imagine how how? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, sort of, yeah. But there wasn't any Bibles. I don't think there was. No, but I'm just saying I read that. I, mean, I don't know if it's true or not. But it opens the mind. You suddenly think, well, you know. It's not fake news, is it? Something like that. Yeah, but no, no, but it's not fake news. Um, it's just something that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, I'm just saying. But the opportunity, books and libraries. Libraries is so valuable. Of course. Yeah. You think, but what use is a library if nobody reads it? The, the, one of the problems of one of the problems of modern philosophy or modern modern knowledge is that there's just so much out there that they're crying out for people who will make who will make works that let you see into the other works. Do you do you see what I'm saying? So 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 if you wanted to if you wanted to learn about philosophy, somebody could write about like um, an approach to philosophy. Right. And then, if you read that, you'd be able to see which of the other books you wanted to read to okay. to, to yeah, understand. To, like to the, to the poets, kind of. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But I'm just I'm just saying that they don't know because there's enough stuff out there to last them forever. Mm. But you have to. That's what why why um, study is so important because our pupils they have to be taught all sorts of different things like discipline, awareness. All these and think kindness, all these other qualities, that are going to make them into a person in the real world, mm. and then you have to, then, like Elsie, you have to release them to the world, and then see how they. You know, there's always that moment when, when the bird flies the nest. You never know whether it's, it's at its most de- at its most delicate. Yeah, yeah. The first few days for a fledgling are very important. Should we uh, leave it that? That's a nice way. Uh, right, yes, thank you. I think. Right, thank you very much. Sorry to talk so long, sorry. Can you turn it off? No, it's, it's, it's all up. Should I turn it off now, shall I? Uh, well, we'll say, yeah, we'll just thank say thank you right. very much. Thank you, Simon. Oh, thank you very much, Samuel. Thank you very much, Christopher. Thank you very much, everybody else. All right, so I'll send that on to you, shall I? Yeah, no, we'll have a long one, Half an hour.